the Pacific side of Costa Rica, uh, right in this area here, and then talk to you about our Valley of the Loose project, which is the specific development um, that we're working on right now. Uh, I just want to share with you what I've learned about Costa Rica and why I think it's a pretty interesting place and why one of my family members is living there right now and loving it. Make sense? Yeah. Sound good? Okay. Well, we've got to get away from Moncton, first of all. So let me give you a bit of a... Say International Airport. Here, you'll be greeted by a Montero representative. You can then catch a commuter flight and be whisked off to the Playa Tambor region in just under 30 minutes. Or if you wish to take a more scenic route, you can rent a car and drive to Tambor, which includes a trip on the Tambor Ferry. Whether by car or by air, once in Tambor, your Montero rep will take you to our famous boutique hotel, the Costa Corral. Once you've checked in, you'll be given a chance to settle in, view the amenities, have a drink, and meet our friendly staff. Then, it's time to experience what makes the Tambor region unlike any other place in Costa Rica or the world. You'll be introduced to the different properties with mountain landscapes, ocean vistas, and community living. You'll see an unspoiled, natural environment around every corner, right up to your doorsteps, with wildlife, flowers, waterfalls, and endless beaches. You will tour the local towns, resorts, attractions, and amenities that make it easy to call the Tambor region your home away from home. We will then have the time to enjoy the beautiful Costa Corral, its food, and hospitality. Take the time for an exotic tour, like zip lining or deep sea fishing. And while you're enjoying your time with us, you can be assured that there will be no high pressure sales. We only want happy, satisfied buyers. And we know that this region sells itself. Once your stay with Monterra is over, we'll get you back to San Jose in time for your return flight home, where your first question will be, when can we return to Tambor? Even if you're looking at it purely from an investment perspective, we want you to go and check it out for yourself. And that's why we have happy customers. There isn't, it isn't the sense of, uh, I'm buying something sight unseen, I don't understand, I, it was, Jason was so talking so quick, I didn't understand what he was saying. You know, I didn't get it. It's not like that. You go down and you see it for yourself. You GPS your property. So this is a site plan. They have a different experience, a different buying experience. Um, and so there isn't the sense of you've got to do this now. Because if you think about it too much, you'll probably change your mind. And I know I can say that. You have to actually experience it yourself. But that's why I would say you go to Costa Rica and see it for yourself to check it out. There's a couple things about Costa Rica that I think make it unique. Has anybody been to Costa Rica? No? Okay. Anybody know somebody who lives in Costa Rica or visits Costa Rica? A few people nodding. Okay. There's, I mean, I could spend about five hours talking about why Costa Rica is so cool, but we don't have that, and I, I take it you would be bored by that point. So I'm going to give you just sort of four or five facts that I think are the key things about Costa Rica, and maybe you'll do some more research yourself and find out what you like about it specifically. But I think the first thing is the environment. You can't talk about Costa Rica without talking about the environment, biodiversity, ecotourism. You don't go to Costa Rica unless you like nature. If your vision of paradise is, you know, uh, an ocean, white sand, 
one palm tree that's been planted there, you know, that's fake, because the whole area is dead, that's not what you're going to find in Costa Rica. That's not why you would go to Costa Rica. You like Costa Rica, if you like Costa Rica, you like kayaking, you like surfing, you like uh, horseback riding in nature, ATVing is huge, um, really being a part of, not jungle, it's not like an Amazon or something like that, but it's, it very much is sort of the green, greenery, monkeys, toucans, all that kind of thing around you. Um, and that's the kind of 